Hey everyone. All right, so um, I talked with a guy all day, uh, not all day, but for a good part of the day, and uh, his name is Frank, and he told me how to make a Bedini motor for your run. So um, I'll be uh, quickly conducting this test, and hopefully I have all the working parts to do it. Um, but speaking of which, I went shopping today. So, because I really want to understand how this stuff works, I went and bought a ton of stuff. Um, so I got a little breadboard, uh, sorry, a little solderless board. That's for um, the jewel ringer circuit. Got some more leads because I keep burning them up, uh, accidentally letting the ends touch together. But I'll learn soon enough. Um, so I've been harvesting um, large coils, uh, toro toroid, co um, yeah, toroid coils, for quite a while, and uh, I've got quite a large collection. So I wanted to be able to make it easier, so I could get what I wanted out. So, um, bought a nice pair of snips with a nice little pair. So, um, and this is what I really wanted to see. These, um, these, my, the potentiometers that I got only had single turn, and it doesn't really. Alright, so my battery just died. So, uh, I was just getting into explaining about this. So, I bought, um, I wanted to really fine tune um, when I'm using a potentiometer because this one's only one turn and that really doesn't allow you to tune in all that well. So I've got a f this one's presently a 1k uh, ohm. So I have bought, I'm just going to try to put them in order here first. So I have bought a 500 ohm, 10, uh, sorry, 5k. 10k, 50k, and 100k. So that should give me a pretty good um, range uh, to be able to test. So what I wanted to do is explain to you what I was uh, explained today. If you take, oh and I can't see them. Oh that sucks. I'll have to look up what that means. Alright so I just looked this up. I wanted to see if the bridge rectifier, um, and there's a little notch out of this end. This camera is not good for focusing, but um, there we go. You can see the that it's not square on the end. So I couldn't find anything on Google Photos. So um, I went and looked at the arrangement of the um, of the bridge rectifier, and that seems to be. Uh, the uh, the way to, to figure it out. So this is positive, so I guess that would be why the notch is out on the positive, and then this is negative, um, and then this is for the AC signal, and then these two go back to the battery. So that's apparently how you create free energy. So in the meantime, I set this up. So that's what it is. Um, it says uh, 3,000 Oh no, 39,000 MFD 75 watt volts DC. So we'll see how that is. Um, I've got another one here as well. It's a 250 volt AC. Oh, okay. So this is an AC one. Um, well, we can see how it works. 60 hertz is what it's rated for, and it's 80 UF at 5% loss. So that's that one. Um, I've got a bunch of other capacitors that have been collecting for a while, and so you know, I've got three of these uh, big bad boys. I think I even have a fourth in the in the van. So uh, the person who helped me, which is Frank, he uh, his his um, you can check him out on YouTube. It's uh, Dive Borg, thirteen. I'll uh, I'll put.
put a link underneath there for him, uh, underneath all the stuff that I normally put with these videos, uh, so you can find him and see some of the videos that he's done. Um, now, he sent me, he uh, told me how to do it, so I've got the positive and negative connected, for AC for this. keep it color coordinated. Ooh. That's weird that it did that. I don't know where which side was which on this. Okay, so that's positive. Ooh, that's an issue. Let's check the cap right away. Charge up the cap on its own without this. Well, that's ramping up real quick. Well, that was fun. <laughs> Hope you saw me jump there. So, you know, I guess I don't understand. Maybe it's just this cap that I'm using. Maybe it's not that uh, that good for what my friend was saying. He said that it made no difference. But uh, we're at 12.9 now, so it's really drawing uh, power on the on the motor. It sounds like it just keeps slowing down. So, what I want to try and do now, maybe we can find a sweet spot. Alright, let's go to a higher potential, uh, lower potentiometer. Let's see if that gives us a better range. 
because I can just switch that out while it's still running. Hopefully I don't get any sparks for that. That was pretty cool. Alright, well we get nothing on this one. So a 500k potentiometer does not work. Sorry, a 500, uh, sorry, yeah, 500 ohm. So let's go to 5 ohms. And then I have to find a little screwdriver to go along with this. So this one allows for 22 turns rather than just how they uh, normally are. So for anybody doing electronics, highly recommend having this uh, this wide of a range. Lots of different ones. Hopefully that doesn't get knocked out of the table. So let's try to get her moving. Alright, so um, looks like we're getting a bit of a charge on the capacitor, and I wonder what the motor is reading now. Oh yeah, a little bit too high on, too low on that. I don't see it decreasing at all. Not yet, at least. And I didn't do anything different, I don't think. Maybe I... Maybe I changed... Oh, no. It's still dropping down. Very slowly, but... Um, maybe switching it over to this AC cap will work better, so... Give that a shot. <laughs> 